A pleasant day to everyone. My name is Michelle Ambat Angkaw. Together with my co-proponent, Donalyn Cabanatan Villanueva, presenting to you our action research with the title, Project Call, Computer, Cell Phone, and Assistance for Language Learning, an Intervention Tool for Selected Grade by Pupils of Mariano C. Anakay Memorial Elementary School. For our abstract, this study focuses on the localized intervention materials that may help the struggling readers of grade 5 pupils to enhance their reading level. The researcher will prepare a pre-test and post-test in the reading profile of pupils from grade 5 under prostration level. Within three months, the researchers will monitor the progress of the reading level of the pupils using the intervention tool. All the data gathered from the reading pro profile of pupils will be analyzed and interpreted. And at the end of the first quarter, which is December, the pupils of grade 5 will be given a post-test. The grade 5 teachers, together with the researchers, monitor the progress of pupils through phone call or video call using basic cell phones, Android phones, and computer. These materials were effective and used as an assistance to easily monitor the struggling readers of grade 5 on the modular distance learning if the reading level were improved as reflected on the reading profile. Experiences of reading teachers on modular distance learning using the project call. Dedication and experiences are very important to help the struggling readers to enhance their reading using the intervention tool. For our context and rationale, the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted almost every area of the economy and education is no exemption. However, technology seems to be the one element connecting teachers and students amid the crisis. The ability to read is the main foundational skill for all school-based learning. Without it, the chances for academic and occupational success are limited according to Lyon of 2007. However, with the increased use of computers in general education, the National Center for Educational Statistics of 2014, and the increased availability of instructional materials in digital forms, computer-based approaches have become more flexible and therefore are able to address more learning needs of students with reading disabilities. With the help of this technology-based instruction tool, the pupil can do their reading using different available devices in their homes. This localized reading intervention tool will make the pupils more eager to improve their reading abilities. This intervention tool is very appropriate because amidst a pandemic and distance learning among pupils, they can continuously improve their reading level. For our action research questions, this study aims to determine the reading level of pupils using this project call as intervention tool. For our question number one, what are the common factors that affect the reading level of grade 5 pupils of Mariano C. Anaki Memorial Elementary School? Number two, what is the most common method used in reading by the teachers of Mariano C. Anaki Memorial Elementary School? What is the leading comprehension of the pupils based on the pre-test and post-test before and after using the intervention. For our action research methods, for our participants and other sources of data, the respondents of the study are 12 pupils from grade 5 of Mariano C. Anakay Memorial Elementary School under prostration level based on the pill error result. For our data gathering methods, the researcher will prepare a pre-test and post-test and the reading profile of pupils from grade 5 under prostration level. Within three months, the researcher will monitor the progress of the reading level of the pupils using the intervention tool. All the data gathered from the reading profile of pupils will be analyzed and interpreted. And at the end of the first quarter, which is December, the pupils of grade 5 will be given a post-test. And for our data analysis plan, the study made use of reading profile to know the, significance, the significant differences of the data gathered 
and questionnaires for pupils to know the factors affecting their reading level and for teachers to identify the most common method they were using to enhance the reading ability of the learners. Action Research Method and Ethical Issues Number one, identification of ethical concerns that could possibly emanate from the conduct of research and discussion on how to prevent this from taking place. Number two, it can include but not limited to the following right to conduct a study or investigation to answer a questions. Number three, securing free prior and informed consent from respondents and or parents and guardians of learners. Number four, issues of confidentiality and anonymity. And for the results and discussion, so table one shown the, the most common factors that affect the reading level of grade five pupils of Mariana C. Anakay Memorial Elementary School. So it shows that there were five identified factors affecting the reading level of pupils. First is the ability to read, followed by the pay in phonemic awareness and pupils' interest in reading are the top three factors. The fourth factor is the parental support and lastly is the home environment as shown in the table. An interview was done with the four teachers about the most common method used in the reading by the teachers of Mariano C. Anaki Memorial Elementary School. It was found out that phonics and whole word approach are the most common method used. Teacher number one explained that ang phonics approach po ay mas madaling ituro sa mga non-readers usually po ay ginagamit namin sa beginning readers starts from kinder to three. Need muna namin nilang mapamilyarize sa sound ng letters bago mag-proceed sa syllables and words and then sa whole word approach po ay for grade 4 to 6 non-readers and under frustration level. And we used the Calabria and Marunco on the whole word approach. Teacher 2 responded that phonics teaches children how to decode letters into respective sounds. It helps children here identify and use different sounds that distinguish one word from another. Teacher 3 verbalized that a child who learns reading through phonics will have a stronger recognition in sound and symbol. Teacher 4 elaborated that the common methods are phonics and whole word approach. When we combine these two methods, it will yield positive outcomes sa mga learners na struggling in reading comprehension. It is very useful. Table 2 shown the level of comprehension of pupils based on the pre-test and post-test before and after using the intervention. There were 12 pupils belong in the frustration level. Pupils with less than 90% of running text is recognized by the learner. Only understand around half of the text, it can be observed that during pre-test and the initial assessment, it shows that there are 5 fast readers, 6 moderate readers, and 1 slow readers. After the intervention was introduced using the phonics and the whole word approach, using the technology at home, the pupils post-test showed that there are 8 fast readers, 4 moderate readers, and 0 slow readers. Early readers must learn to comprehend unfamiliar words in order to improve fluency and eventually understanding. This study demonstrated that phonics is critical literacy tool that must be taught openly and directly. Beginning readers are taught. With the help of the intervention tool, the teaching and learning process will improve and reading will become more fascinating and exciting for the students. They will also become more engaged and motivated in reading. Even with modular distance learning, teachers may now readily monitor their students' reading abilities. The pupils will be familiarized on the phonics and the whole word approach. As a result, there were several elements that influenced the pupils' reading level. Capacity to read, delayed phonics awareness, and the pupils' motivation in reading. The common techniques of teaching reading among instructors includes phonics and the whole word approach. And for Mariana C. Anaki Memorial Elementary School students in grade 5, phonics and the whole word method are extremely helpful in teaching reading. And for recommendations, it suggested that literacy a strategy incorporate phonics and the whole language into one curriculum, with the phonics development taking precedence. Pupils learn unique phonetic patterns that will aid them in decoding more quickly. Teachers' directed phonics teaching should be included in reading education activities. A more comprehensive approach to literacy would be provided by a instructional design with the use of technology. Here are the references we use. According to Sophocles, one learns by doing a thing for though you think you know it. You have no certainty until you try. A lesson we learned in conducting this action research. Thank you so much for listening.